Hello, welcome friend, welcome back friends. Uh, in the WhatsApp group, I just saw one uh, query that how to copy the figures which we are drawing in GeoGebra and using it uh, for question paper setting or to be used in PowerPoint presentations and all. But I wish to just to tell you that the easiest way to do it. Now I have taken one uh, GeoGebra sheet where I have drawn a triangle where two angles are shown. I, I want to ask the children the third angle. This is only an example I have taken. This I have drawn now. Then how to copy it in MS Word and how to copy it in PowerPoint presentation I will show you. After everything is drawn clearly, put it in the middle of the uh, sheet, that is the worksheet. Go to file and press this export. Go to file and press export. In that export, there are two ways of saving this particular figure. One is permanently, the other one is temporarily. First, I will show you how to do it temporarily. Just to go to this export and then click this graphic view to clipboard. Graphic view to clipboard. Just to simply click it. Now, this particular triangle has gone to a clipboard. When you open this any Word document, you can simply paste it. Now it has been pasted now. <clears throat> now the only thing is the whole page will be pasted where that there will be some space which is having a weight, weight uh, this one also apart from that particular figure. For that what you have to do is click this figure then this format will open. Okay, I am just doing it once again. Click this figure this format will open. In that format go to this cropping select this crop you will get all black 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 side dots will be there just to push it from the left to right then push it from right to left left to right and from top to bottom bottom to top and then come out now you got a, a triangle which is only required the only problem with this is it will not move you cannot move it where you want for that also once again click it Go to this format, format will automatically open. Go to this wrap text, select this tight. Once again I do it, format, wrap text, select this tight. Now you can move it anywhere you want, wherever you put it. Type the question and then below that you just uh, put it here and then type the question on the left side. Put it over here and type the question on the right side. Okay. Let us, the same thing you can do it in PowerPoint presentation also. The same thing can be pasted. Till you are doing it. Still you are doing it and still you are closing this GeoGebra, it will be in the clipboard. Here also the same thing, you can go to the format, go to this cropping, the unwanted space, which is in the white uh, space, which you, are, you don't want it, that can be removed. But the only advantage in uh, PowerPoint presentation is it can be moved and put anywhere you want. No need to do anything. But here in Word, for moving it, you have to go to this wrap text, then then click this type. Okay. Now this I am just showing you that how to do it uh, temporarily. Let us go how to do it permanently. If you want this figure to be used in so many places, go to this file, go to this export, go to this graphic view as picture. We are going to save it as a JPG, a PNG image. We are going to save it as a image permanently. Click it. Now here also it is showing you two options now. Clipboard and save. This clipboard already you have seen now. Now you are going to save it in the form of a file now. But before you go for that, please remove this transparent. If you don't remove this transparent, what will happen is you will get a transparent triangle, which you may not be able to use it for uh, future use. Now you just simply click this save. It will ask you where you want to save. I am using triangle PNG on the desktop I am saving now. I will show you where it is saved. It is saved on the desktop as a triangle now. You see, when you open it, it is a PNG file, which is not a transparent one. You should be a bit careful. Now it is saved now. Now this can be copied on a, a Word file or a PowerPoint file. Again, right click it, copy. Then again, go to the Word file. You can once again paste it. Now it got pasted now. Once again, you are having so many a space which is not wanted once again go to the cropping and then do the cropping and all similarly you can do it uh, that pasting in powerpoint presentation also now it got once again pasted 
these are the two ways of doing it but the one way just we which we were going on discussing that press the print screen and all that also can be used when you use that print screen what will happen is the total uh, figure will come then automatically that will become a image once again so well, i think your query has been answered thank you very much